We are learning new details tonight after the body of a woman was found in Wilmington, Delaware Park over the weekend. Police now say she was stabbed to death. Tonight, residents in the area are concerned about their safety. Action News reporter Leland Pinder live for us now in Wilmington at the police station with this story. Leland. Yeah, sure. We now know how that woman died, but police still have not released her identity. Detectives back on the scene Monday at Kosciuszko Park. They're working to put the pieces together after a 59-year-old woman was fatally stabbed, according to police, and found dead here Sunday morning. The park was temporarily closed as they investigated the scene, making neighbors uneasy. I do live here, right? So, I mean, I don't want things like that happening around where I live. Action News has reported on incidents here as far back as 2012 when police say a teenager was sexually assaulted. In 2013, police say two women were raped and another two women were robbed in the area. More recently, Wilmington Councilwoman Yolanda McCoy says neighbors have reached out to her with other concerns. Their issues have been people sleeping here within the park. They're seeing people do drugs here in the park. McCoy says there have been efforts to deter illegal activity like increased lighting and signage. Parks are, it is a gathering space. It's somewhere for our children to feel safe. The problem is that we can do all these great things in the daytime, but then once the hour, like it's uh, after hours, we may not know what's actually happening in those uh, evening hours. McCoy said she's working on establishing a block captain program and already has 10 community leaders on board. That amounts to more help keeping an eye on the park more often so it can remain open and accessible. I don't want to see a park skip fence. I would love to be able to see uh, behaviors get changed. As officers investigate the woman's death, Neighbors are doing what they can for their own peace of mind. We do um, have our own lighting, have some cameras up. Now, police have not announced any arrests in this investigation. If you know anything, you're asked to call Wilmington Police or Delaware Crime Stoppers. Live in Wilmington, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Okay, Leland, thank you.